I'm Dr. Manuel Astruc. I'm a board-certified psychiatrist. I help entrepreneurs who are suffering from depression get back to being energetic, uh, productive, and very confident. So I believe that the key to success and your mental fitness is agency. And agency is the belief that you can actually have an, uh, you have the ability to influence outcomes, right? So that you're an independent agent who can have um, uh, an influence on what happens to you. So an easy way to think about this is with your grades. When you're in school, you have agency over the grades that you get to the extent that, you know, if you study hard, it's going to have an outcome on the grades that you're getting. So agency is critical to success and mental fitness. There's a couple of quotes around agency that um, are favorites of mine. One is from Marshall Goldsmith. He says that what got you here won't get you there. So in other words, you have to up your game as you're striving to get to the next level for yourself. And there's a quote from a, a Buddhist monk, I think he is, Richard Baker. Richard Baker says that transformation and awakening come down to two things, intention and attention. I read a book some years ago by Ed Catmull. Now, Ed Catmull is the, the head of Pixar. And the, the book is called Creativity Inc. It's one of my favorite business books of all time, and it's also a great personal growth and development story. So Ed Catmull, when he started off in, in, uh, as a young man, he wanted to be an animator for Disney. He wanted to draw cartoons. And he wasn't good enough. Like, he applied and he was told that his drawing skills weren't up to the task. Now, this was many years ago when computers did not have the horsepower that they have now. So he changed his goal to become uh, someone who helped to develop animation digitally on computers. Again, back in these days, computers could barely draw a hand that, that would move around. Um, so there was a lot of work to be done, and that was the direction that he cast himself in. And initially he was coding, and he developed a lab where he brought other people in to help code, and then he went from coding to running the lab, right? So he had to develop a new skill set. And as they got more people into in, the laboratory uh, and there was a, a worldwide movement to advance uh, what computers could do, there was a lot of exchanging of information by some quarters. By, uh, by other studios, they were actually hoarding the information and the discoveries that they were making that would allow people to, to animate. So there was a open source system and a closed source system. And he open sourced all the discoveries he was making because he had a goal. It was to make animation and cartoons to, uh, digitally. The more people that were helping in his mind, the better that would be. And what ended up happening was that his lab, as a result of open sourcing all the information that they were getting, all the discoveries they were making, people wanted to work with him. He was seen as, as the leader and he drew the, the top people, the, the best and the brightest. Over time, over many years, um, he continued to grow skill sets. There was a lot of turmoil and a lot of chaos. Uh, ultimately, he was working with Steve Jobs, and at some point, he was actually working with Disney Studios. And the first animated movie that came out, and it was like a 20-year journey, was Toy Story. He became the head of Pixar at that point. They were pumping out, you know, cartoons digitally uh, on a regular basis at that point. Um, and his skill set had gone from coding and having a vision of the future that he wanted to actually running this massive studio with directors and budgets and actors. Um, 
being in charge of all of that. So what uh, what gets you there uh, is is not what got you you know initially here, right? So always growing our skill sets is a super important part. And the agency component to this is the belief that investing in yourself, investing in your knowledge, investing in learning and growing, not only keeps your mental fitness up, but it leads to success. A couple of my favorite lessons from the book Creativity Inc. Uh, number one is that uh, you know the collaboration model that humans do great when we're collaborating. So if you think back to caveman days, you know one of the things that helped humans to explode and become an invasive species over the entire planet was our ability to, to form tribes and to take on tasks that an individual couldn't do. And this went from, from hunting initially to farming to like constructing the, the Great Pyramids. This was all part of collaboration, working together, learning together. Another great story from uh, Ed Catmull was his mindset. So he went around, as successful as he was, constantly head on a swivel, looking around, you know, thinking, what am I missing? What am I missing? What he knew was that complacency and thinking that he had it all together and he knew that w what was going on was leaving large blind spots. So he was actively looking for blind spots. What do I know that's going on in the organization that I should be knowing? The bigger the organization, the more blind spots there are. And actively looking for these, and not being mad or upset but <laughs> that they're there, like blind spots are a natural phenomena, but like, you know, go look for them. Uh, find them. And head on a swivel, as a leader, what am I missing? And so many lessons in the book, but, but the last one was uh, his use of the word candid and candor. So he says that when we ask to have conversations that are truthful, there's a lot of pressure because we don't want to hedge and say something that's not exactly the truth. Well, sh so people just kind of bail and back out and, and uh, have a hard time with a honest, truthful conversation. He says, substituting the word candid, hey, let's have a candid conversation. <laughs> let's, let's talk candidly. Um, reduces the stress level and increases the, the amount of transparency and sharing that goes on. So agency is the belief that we can influence our outcomes, and I think it's the key to success. I think it's also one of the keys to uh, mental fitness, and it's one of the treatments that I talk about with people when they come to see me when they're depressed. So often there's a sense of hopelessness and helplessness, and uh, the future is bleak like nothing can ever change. And if that's the case, one thing that can change is, you know, give my office a call, Manuel Astruc, MD, and Associates. We've got, uh, you know, practitioners who are available to help, and we've got the cutting edge technology, transcranial magnetic stimulation uh, in Saratoga Springs, uh, and it's a revolutionary technology that's actually 10 years old, and we're seeing just marvelous uh, results with this when medications have failed.